Good morning, everybody. It's all about slow roasted meats on this week's edition of City Eats and serving it up for us. Please welcome Chef Rob Bragagnolo from Carver. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Lineups at the door. It. Let's talk about the fact that you focused on high quality ingredients. That's exactly it. Yeah, so we're getting premium meats, meaning all natural, free range. Pardon my voice. I know you Sorry there's laryngitis that. going around. So <laughs> um, antibiotic, hormone free. Yeah, and you know we're using meats that a high end restaurant would use for a small sandwich shop. Basically, okay. Right? So for example, your chicken, your pork, you marinate it for up to 24 hours. Sometimes even 48 hours. So what we do is with the with the pork, for example, we'll brine it for 24 hours wow. and then marinate it for another 24. And then it gets slow roasted for 14. Seriously. So it's a slow. long, long process. So you can either go for a sandwich, which you're known for. By the way, yeah. they even are attached to Uber Eats, guys. So if you can't make it to the resto, right. they'll come to you, your office, your home. But um, so you marinate it and you put it in either a sandwich or a roasted plate. So for people who don't want to eat bread and want to have a healthier option, you have slow roasted chicken with a salad and some steamed rice and that kind of thing. Like kale salad, turmeric rice. That's right, exactly. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the love. First of all, this is your Caesar. That's a Caesar. With, we make it with avocado dressing. Beautiful. So instead of just using really heavy like mayonnaise, very garlicky, yeah. it's a little bit lighter and fresher. So let's start, we'll talk about the roasted chicken sandwich. Yeah. So this is our number one Seller. selling product. So we slow roast the chicken. Um, we get our bread delivered every morning from the Drake Hotel. Oh, beautiful And then bread. we make two really special items. I think they're special. First one is a roasted lemon aioli. I've okay? never seen this. Right. So this is kind of a, a new technique that we developed to make a really light and fresh and very citrusy accompaniment to the roasted chicken. How long? So do you coat them in oil, the lemons? We don't do anything. How, uh, we, what do you bake them at? We bake it at 375 on full steam and, and 375 and it cooks it all the way through. Like how it long? It ends up being for like 15 minutes. Okay, yeah. full steam. So when you cut it open, I don't know if the camera can catch that, but it ends up almost being like a marmalade. Oh my gosh, so it's really, beautiful. really juicy, right? Mm. So we take that and then we make a puree. And the skin too. The whole thing. Yeah, because there's a lot of uh, nutrients in the lemon rind. And it's crazy delicious. So it ends up being like, almost like a pastry cream. But this is literally just these lemons blitzed up. And you make so, the aioli. And then that gets folded into a mayonnaise, an aioli, okay. and then that becomes one of the toppings for the sandwich, right? So that goes on one side of it. For the chicken. For the chicken sandwich, yeah. Um, so what you end up having is really fresh, vibrant lemon, fresh herbs, which is fresh and light, Basil. roasted chicken, and then we make a, a tomato pesto. Right, so we're taking sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of garlic. Okay. You know, you're Italian. You know of course, this, garlic right? is so good for you too. Yeah. And you're supposed to always Absolutely. crush it. You crush it, and you put in, you know, sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit mm. of fresh tomato, and you end up, you know, mashing these together to make a really beautiful. Oh, you use the, the the fresh tomato sauce. So we take two things. We take sun-dried tomatoes, and then we take preserved tomatoes, and we mix that together so that it's nice and creamy. Okay, so just as is from the can. You don't need to cook it. Yeah, or, like San yeah. Marzano tomatoes. Okay, okay. Right? So that becomes the other side of the sandwich. Rich and creamy. And, you know, there's a lot of, like, that umami, and there's so many different levels of flavors here. You have the citrus, which is acidic, and then you have the nice herbs that are like, you know, really fresh and vibrant. And then you have mm. meat, which is lush and rich. And I all know those this things, is your right? dad's secret herb crust, is it? My for, grandfather's. For, oh, it's your grandfather's. Right, right. What was his name? Is he still alive? No, he's not. Oh. Antonio. Antonio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was it? It was paprika. So the key to our meats is lemon. That's the number one thing that we marinate with. So we take the lemon puree and we coat our meats with that. Okay. So that gets coated inside and the outside of it and then we use a lot of fresh herbs but the key for us is really citrus and herbs and then you put the chicken on this and that's that sandwich but then what is in this one that's the is that the pork so this is our grilled cheese it's like puttanesca okay so we're taking the, the pasta sauce and making it into a grilled cheese the porchetta is roasted red pepper salsa verde and the porchetta and oh then it gosh. gets pressed like this right oh um, yeah so that what you end up getting is a really nice crunchy outside. Chef, break me off a piece of this. <laughs> let's get it, let's break get Break me it. off a piece. Here, here. Guys, are you mouth watering or what? Yeah. Everybody's yes. like, this food better not be TV food. Okay, it's not, it it's, all, it's all real, edible. it's all real. Because it's everyone, and I know you do have quite the lineup at the, um, 
The lunch lunch time gets crazy. It's a very small shop. It's yeah. 500 square feet, right? Yeah. Okay, so okay. what is the Putanesca? Like, explain. So that's um, no, no, you have to learn so that's a this is mine. black olive tapenade, <laughs> mozzarella. You can try any of those sandwiches. They're totally edible. So mm. this is the porchetta. The grilled cheese and the roasted chicken sandwich. What's, what's the secret of, of working with lemon? Because sometimes you can, lemon can be overpowering. It can be if it's not. Mm, it's so moist. moist. What you want to use is the zest. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's raw, 100% raw, use only the zest, not the white pith, because it's very bitter, and then the juice. So mm -hmm. the chicken sandwich yeah. also has a different name what? that you gave it. Me? You gave it. Pei Chen was on here, and you called it the inside out pizza focaccia thingy. I remember that was and you. And it does look like that. Oh my look god. At that. Here, We're going to get go. like t shirts you, made you with it. You actually listened yeah. to my madness. It, does, it looks like it. That's yeah. it. It does look like it, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah, the that's inside so, out pizza focaccia that's thingy. That's so awesome. <laughs> I'm so eloquent. They call me Shakespeare, modern know, Shakespeare. It works. <laughs> Where do we go to well, we visit call other your things. Carver? 101 Peter Street. It's the corner of Adelaide and Peter. Wow. Honestly, guys, you don't even know. Honestly, Uber over. eats it. Look, I'm going to eat basil just like this. What's going on with the chicken and everything? Mm. It's beautiful. Breakfasttelevision.ca to find out more. And if you have an idea, this, go to our website, City Eats. Let us know what's your favorite place. This is the, future. the best sandwich I've ever had in my life. Oh, my. Whoa. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Whoa. I've never said that. Wow. Wow. This is a big deal. Thank you. Wow. Thank Congratulations. You. You're you doing so something right, my friend. Appreciate we'll be back. More BT. It's called Carver. Check it out. Carver Slow on Twitter.